November Delta 1 Charlie. November Delta 1 Charlie. Go ahead, sir. What's the name? Roger, Roger. The name here is Jim, Julian India Mike. I'm near Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, Roger, Jim in Daytona Beach, uh, Florida, sir. Uh, what uh, radio are you running? I'm running a uh, ICOM 7610 with a uh, Ohio uh, 781 microphone, and I'm on a uh, off center fed dipole at the moment. Roger, Jim. Just the guy I want to see is somebody with a 7610. Are you ready to uh, uh, get that radio rocking and rolling audio wise? Roger, Roger. I've got a, uh, uh, a UR6. CW uh, equalizer, and I've got a, uh, a two preamp in line with it. Okay, well, you, you know, all of that stuff is unnecessary. I hate to tell you, but the 7610 is quite capable of <laughs> taking your head off by itself. It really doesn't need all that other stuff. D can, is there a way that you can bypass that external stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can do that, really. All right, uh, go ahead and bypass everything. Let me just have that microphone direct. And we need to move along because uh, conditions may not last long. Uh, other station, uh, stand by. I'm in uh, CUSO with uh, uh, Jim down in uh, Florida. All right, I'm back. I went over onto the headset to stop it. It's just going into the radio. All right, sir. Now, let's rock and roll. Uh, first thing, engage your compressor at a three. Engage your compressor at a three. Roger. All right, there it is. All right, now go to your ALC, and with mic gain in hand, adjust your ALC where it reads mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. All right, where is the ALC adjustment? <laughs> the microphone gain control. Oh, all right, yeah. Mic gain's about 41 right now. Not interested in where it is, only as it relates to the ALC. You want to adjust the mic gain till the ALC meter is reading mid scale to two thirds. All right, so I got a ways to go. Let's see. All right, uh, I'm all the way up on the mic gain. That's about as much as she's going to go up. Okay, and what's your ALC meter reading? Uh, about three bars into the red there. Uh, no, you don't want to be in the red. Pull it down. You do not want to be in the red. You want to be mid-scale to two-thirds, uh, not in the red. Roger. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's very at the top of the, the line where it goes to the red, but not into the red. All right. Let's, uh, do you know where, um, <laughs> where the peak button is? You have a peak button on the left side of your radio. A uh, peak button? Ah, I don't see that. Uh, I'm, uh, let's see, peak, 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 is it peak or is it uh, quick? I'm sorry, it's a quick button. Do you know where that is? Okay, you're talking about on the AGC? It's a button labeled quick. It takes you to uh, drive. Ah, uh, there's a drive in the menu I've seen before. And uh, I'm trying to see where I get to that at. There's a button on your radio called quick. It's a push button. Left hand side of your radio, left part of side of your radio. You're, you're running a 7610, Roger. Okay, drive gain, hit that, okay, it's at 50%. All right, take that drive gain up to 65%. All right, now double check your ALC to be um, to your compressor to be sure you're at a three out of 10. A uh, we, what we're looking for is about a third of the capabilities of your compressor, a three out of 10, 30 out of 100. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, should be right about there. Okay, uh, you're uh, not uh, as fat as what you should be. Uh, give me uh, 10 seconds or 15 about, uh, tell me about your antenna system. I've got two up there right now. I've got an off-center fed dipole for 80 meters that covers six bands, and I've got a, uh, a 40 meter delta loop, which I'm on right now. It's uh, oriented vertically. Okay. Wh uh, what kind of mic are you running? I'm on a, uh, a radio support headset. 
Okay, do you know where EQ is at tone control? Uh, yes, sir. It's uh, in the menu. Correct. Can you go there? Tone control? Uh, we're looking for, uh, you know, uh, a little bit uh, more. You need a little bit more on the bottom end. You're pretty mid rangey with that, uh, that headset mic, uh, Roger. Okay, I was minus two, and now I'm plus two. On uh, base EQ? Roger. All right, uh, now uh, tell me about that uh, 7610, the best thing you like about the 7610. I'll tell you what, uh, you've got a watt meter, Roger. Roger, Roger. All right, put that watt meter in PEP. Okay. Uh, let me scroll through my menu here, and I've got power output. Okay, which is it's getting pulled back because the amplifier is controlling the radio. You're... Um, would repeat that? The uh, amplifier is uh, the next part one point five and it controls the ALC in the radio. So it, it it's actually even though they tell you to keep the radio at hundred percent, it's uh, showing that it's only peaking about twenty five watts right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything, sir, but uh, very few people run the ALC back from their power amp. Very, very few. I'm not telling you not to, but uh, very few people do, Roger. Roger. When I ran the tubes, I didn't run it, but uh, when I was talking to the guy who, who does these amps down in Texas, he was like, uh, you have no warranty if you don't run that, and, and it's all computer-driven. So every time it picks up a fault, it records it in the, in the amplifier. On what? It's, a, it's an expert 1.5, so it, it's all computerized. And it actually records your your RF input to, to it uh, on a chip, on a dip, or, or what? It's got, it, whenever it hits a fault, whether you hit an SWR fault or you overdrive it because you weren't running the ALC, it, it records the fault in the, in the amplifier. Roger, okay. Well, I, I guess we're pretty much done here. Uh, you know, the, the main thing is that you run your compressor at about a three, and then you adjust your ALC to mid-scale to two-thirds. I think your uh, mic EQ uh, will suffice. I would prefer a little more top, top-end EQ on that mic, and uh, maybe uh, uh, just uh, one or two clicks more on the bottom end to try to get rid of the uh, mid-rangey uh, uh, aspects of that boom mic. Okay, I'll add a little bit to that. Let's see. Uh, give me a sec. All right, there's a little bit more top end. Is that any better? Yes, sir. You, you know, what, what I'm talking about top end is the, s s the s S's. That is uh, articulation there, and, uh, you know, uh, that is very necessary to uh, become as articulated as you can because when you get down in somebody else's noise level, uh, the only thing that's going to help you is the brightness of your audio that uh, will be competing against the noise. And if you don't have much uh, articulation, then uh, you get lost really quick when the noise comes up around your neck, Roger. Yeah, I, I, I can relate to that. That's the old trick where you, uh, you can get a no high noise environment and you narrow the transmitter band a little bit and, and, and uh, get more articulation. It's not as pleasant to listen to, but it fucks it through. Roger that. Now, and the other thing about the uh, uh, the watt meter, uh, do you have an actual uh, watt meter on the output of your uh, power amp? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's reading right now... Uh, it's driving about 1,400. Okay, sir. And you know where the sweet spot is on that uh, watt meter, Roger? Roger, Roger. All right, well, then uh, put it in PEP as opposed to RMS. Put it in P and P so it moves uh, fairly quickly. And be looking at that as you speak. And the idea is that uh, we have the capabilities within our own voice to control our level to some degree. So as you look at your uh, watt meter in the PEP mode uh, and you're talking, try to keep that meter in the uh, sweet spot uh, of, the, of the movement, Roger, on the sweet spot of that meter. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of on the lazy side right now, but it's a PEP, and uh, it's dancing around between 1.3 and 1.4. Uh 
Roger. Well, you know, you will be educating yourself. The more you use that, the more you watch that meter and relate that meter to your speech uh, level, uh, you will become uh, much more conscious of uh, when your voice drops off level-wise or you move back off microphone. You'll be much more cognizant of those situations, Roger. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, it, it, it's funny, too, with where your settings are at. Like, if, I, if I'm... Uh Everybody will tell me, oh, it sounds great, it sounds great, go to 80 meters, and then you got to redial everything. And, and I don't understand why. And just the different band change would require different settings on that. Oh, Roger that. Well, I, I think we're about done here, man. Uh, why don't you, if you get a chance, uh, check back in next Friday and uh, uh, let me know how the experience of watching your watt meter as you speak <laughs> works out, Roger. Okay, yeah, it's, it also shows up on my computer screen. Uh, everything from the, the amplifier goes, uh, not just on the screen on the amp, but it goes on the, onto the computer, so I watch it all the time. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, uh, thanks for checking in, man, uh, and uh, give me your call sign one more time. November Delta 1 Charlie. And the name is Jim, is that a Roger? Yes, sir. All right, Jim, uh, we have been recording since 5, and all of our conversation has been recorded, and uh, we will be posting this up on YouTube uh, in the next couple of days. So if you want to hear your audio and hear us as we work through the, uh, the different modifications to your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. Right now we're running about 840 uh, QSO uh, air checks. You'll be looking for one specifically, usually on page one. It's entitled My Groove Air Check 12619, today's date. My Groove Air Check 12619 on the YouTube search for KC9VKV. Roger. Okay, got it. Got it wrote down here. I'm a big YouTube fan. I, I'm always on there. So, uh, anyway, thanks a lot. 7 degrees. And I'll let you get back to the rest of them here. November Delta 1, Charlotte. Roger, Roger, Jim. Three Zetway, sir. Have a have a great time down in Florida. I eat my heart out up here in the in the rain and the, oh well. Anyway, I, I like seasons. I keep reminding myself I like seasons. I like seasons. I like seasons. Don't you know? Don't tell me about the uh, sand gnats and the noceums down in Florida. I I like the seasons. <laughs> but I do like Florida. Well, anyway, this is KC9VKV, the QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.